on YouTube. Today I wanted to do a very quick video just kind of talking about how you can tell if your nickel has silver in it. Um, it's a pretty easy way to tell. I mean, obviously the first thing you want to look for is whether or not what the dates are, right? So a the war nickel, as they were known, was made from 1942 to 1945. So those are the years that you're going to want to look for on your nickels. 1942 to 1945. The reason why they made them with silver in it is because they were trying to ration the actual nickel content for World War II. They were making uh, like protective armoring and stuff for their for their for their gear. So armor plating was was made with nickel. Therefore, they needed to ration it. So they started to put actual silver in the coins at that time. This is a, this is also known as a, a wartime nickel, the Jefferson War nickel, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's got 35% silver content in it. Um, so here's an easy way to tell other than the year. You're looking for 1942 to 1945. This is just a standard nickel. What I want you to look for here is the mint mark. You'll see a P down here for Philadelphia. It's minted in Philadelphia, mint mark down by his hair on the front of the coin. This one is not silver. This does not have silver in it. Now let's look at a wartime nickel. This one's 1943, and you can tell right away the difference in color. You know, And if, if this wasn't in the casing, you could tell by the way that it sounds. Those of you who have silver, you know what silver sounds like when you when you give it a tap. Um, so what else do we want to look for? Now let's look down by his hair on this coin, the wartime nickel. I don't see any mint mark here on the front anywhere, right? Let's flip them over. On the back of all the wartime nickels, your mint mark, if it's got silver in it, is going to be up towards the top here, right up above Monticello, Monticello, however you want to say it. I've heard it said many different ways. Side note, I've been there. It's awesome. If you're ever in Virginia, stop by Jefferson's house. It's incredible. Anyway, um, the P above the the building here is Philadelphia Mint Mark. This lets you know that this has 35% silver in it. So this is a silver nickel, a wartime nickel. This one is not. You look at the back of this one, there is no mint mark on the back. It's again on the front, bottom by his hair. Sometimes you'll see him in this area here. Uh, but it's always on the front for the non-silver one. And then this one here is one of your newer nickels, which is, who knows what the hell these are made out of now. But this is garbage. This is, you know, funny money, fake money, whatever you want to call it. That's what I consider this. Looks cool, but it's funny money. Um, so neither one of these have silver in them. So keep that in mind if you're ever reaching around your pocket and you find an old nickel. You can tell just by the way that it looks. That it looks cool. And then you look a little bit closer, you'll see that it may have silver in it. Um, one thing I'll let you know about the mint, minting of these, Philadelphia minted both nickels. So they minted the wartime nickel and just your standard nickel, right? Denver only minted the standard nickel. So you're never going to find a Denver minted nickel that has silver in it. Not from 1942 to 1945. So Denver did not mint the, the silver nickels. San Francisco only minted war nickels. So if you get a San Francisco mint, from 1942 to 1945, it's got silver in it. San Francisco didn't make any of the standard nickels at the time during those years. Um, they only minted the silver ones. So just a little fun facts for you guys to figure out how to tell if your nickel has silver in it. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have suggestions of videos you want to see or questions you might have, comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you're not already subscribed, guys, come on, what are you waiting for? I'm going to wait. I'll wait. Good. That gave you enough time to click the subscribe button. It's right over there, just in case you missed it. Click the subscribe button. Give me a like. Thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTube.